man, not a black man. Sorry. Ah, a laundry van. I see. Nice touch. Not obtrusive at all in a hospital parking lot. Yeah. Now that you've proven you're really smart, why don't you get in the van and let's get rolling? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Now, I, I just want you to settle something for us. We were having a little argument as to why you kidnapped us in the first place. I said it had something to do with everything that went on at Batterley. Right. See, I happen to think you're working for Carlo Hesser. My sister here thinks you're working for Johnny D. So why don't you settle the little dispute for us? All right, who is it? Hesser or Johnny D? Or both. You two are real comedians, you know. No, we're serious. I mean, we'd be less anxious about being kidnapped if we knew who our kidnappers were. I'm sorry, but no. Why do I recognize that voice? Have you let my husband know that I'm all right? He's going to be very worried about me. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Well, have you contacted him? And what about my family? I mean, they have, they have so much on their minds right now. I mean, you don't understand. You have to talk to them. I don't want them to, to think that... Oh, all right? Are you all right? Yeah, I just, I, I just think that... Oh. I knew it. I thought you guys are a bunch of phonies. You're not Amish. Yeah. You're real clever, Megan. But you're gonna find out it doesn't pay. I knew I recognized your voice. I knew it. What, you know this guy? Yes. You were following me and Jake in the park the other day. Then he jumped on me, wanted some autograph for a fan magazine he was carrying for his girlfriend. I should have let Jake beat the hell out of you right then and there. Well, obviously he's been following you for days then. Yeah, ever since I left Batterley, right? All right, ladies. No more stalling, no more questions. It's time to settle down and accept the situation. Oh, in your dreams. Forget it. Oh, what is this? That's your new traveling That's clothes. Funny. You're going to love them. Now get in the van, change into those, and then hand out what you're wearing now. But just wait a minute. You don't actually think we're going to cooperate with you, do you? What, do you think we're stupid or what? Huh? OK. What's the bottom line? The bottom line is that Barney won't be giving us any more trouble. How'd he find out about us in the first place? Somebody told Barney about a strange laundry truck leaving the hospital. Seems he spotted it leaving Landview on Route 40. The guy's got a nose for these things. Anyway, he put two and two together and decided to turn his hunch into a little cold, hard cash. And that's when he went to see Jake Harrison. Correct. We tracked him down at Max's place. He gave us the slip at first, but we managed to catch up to him before he could do any major damage. So we don't have anything to worry about? I wouldn't say that. Well, then what are you saying? Jake Harrison and Bo Buchanan and the rest of his clan, they're no fools. And they're not about to take this lying down. You're going to have a major fight on your hands. OK. OK, thanks for the warning. Let's go. It's time to rule whether the ladies like it or not. No, oh, very nice. It's you, plain and simple. It's all the rage in Paris this year. You're never going to get away with this. We already have. Now hand over the clothes you were wearing. Oh, why? Do you boys want to change your outfits? <laughs> you are so funny. Now hand over the clothes. Shoes, please. They're in with the rest of the stuff. Why don't I trust you? I don't know. Are they there? No. Nope. Well, I don't know. That's very strange because I put them there with the rest of the stuff. Yeah, I put mine in there, too. You've got five seconds. One, two, All right, three. All right, fine, 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 fine. It's going to be that way. These would have not made a nice pair of weapons. You know, don't think just because you got us to change clothes that you won. That's right, we may look pure and simple. Doesn't mean that we are. You're both very gutsy and very bright. I respect that. I do. But it means I'm going to have to keep a closer eye on you. It's not going to do you any good. Yeah, fine. Put us in this van, lock us up. Just means we're going to yell and kick and scream until someone comes and gets us out of here. That's right, you should know that we both have a very healthy set of lungs. Yeah, and you should know that the van's soundproof. So instead of wasting your time by yelling and screaming, why don't you just settle down and get a good night's rest? Let's roll.
I promise you, you are going to regret this. I don't like threats, Miss Gordon. So I suggest you stop making them and start cooperating. Our life's going to get a lot tougher. For everybody. <laughs>